this online arbitrage deals video today i'm going to be talking to you about amazon account health and why it's so important for sellers so if you're selling on amazon or you're about to start selling on amazon and you're unsure about what account health means definitely carry on listening because it's crucial that all sellers maintain good account health in order to sell on amazon without experiencing any issues Amazon account, looks, account Health looks at a range of performance metrics and if those metrics slip, you might receive a warning from Amazon and in the worst case, you might receive an account suspension. Poor Account Health also harms your chances of winning that all-important buy box. So let's talk a bit about what Amazon Account Health is. So Amazon Account Health is made up of three sections. You've got customer service performance, policy compliance, and delivery performance. And they are the key areas that Amazon monitor, and every seller must achieve the targets that are set out in order to meet Amazon's standards. So first of all, where can you find Amazon Account Health? Log into your Seller Central account and go to Performance and then Account Health. And from there, you'll see the three sections you need to keep an eye on. So let's talk a little bit in more detail. So firstly, customer service performance. Definitely non number one on the list, which doesn't come as a surprise because Amazon puts the customer first for everything. Customer service performance is monitored by the order defect rate. And this is a key measure of your ability to provide a good customer service. Basically, an order has a defect if it results in negative feedback, an A to Z guarantee claim or a credit card chargeback. Order defect rate target is under 1%. So basically what you need to do is make sure that your order defect rate is under that 1% in order to not be putting your account at risk. And as I said, that involves things like negative feedback, A to Z guarantee claims and also chargeback claims. In addition to that, you've also got invoice defect rate. Now invoice defect rate is basically a metric that helps third party sellers monitor the invoicing experience that they provide to Amazon business customers who require invoices or receipts for tax and accounting purposes. The invoice defect rate is a percentage of orders for which you didn't upload an invoice by midnight on the first business day following the day you confirm the shipment of the order. It's important to note that the current target for invoice defect rate is below 5%. Then we've got policy compliance. So policy compliance refers to violations you might receive on your account. This can be anything from listing policy violations to intellectual property complaints. And you'll be able to see a breakdown of any of these that you've received in your account health. Sellers need to maintain a target of zero for policy compliance. Any issues that do arise, you need to deal with promptly. You can see your account health rating in your account health section. It's kind of a bar that's red, yellow, and then green, and it'll have an arrow above it, which will show you exactly where on that bar your current account health is sitting. This helps you monitor your account health based on your adherence to Amazon selling policies. It takes into account things such as the number of unresolved policy violations on your account at any given time, the relative severity of those violations, and the extent to which you have positively impacted the customer experience with your selling activities. If your account health rating is at risk or critical, your account may be at risk of deactivation. Now, intellectual property complaints or IP complaints or claims are one of the most common claims you can receive from a rights or a brand owner. If the claim's raised, if you receive a complaint, you should remove your listing for that product and try to contact the rights owner to resolve the issue internally. If you receive a suspected intellectual property violation, this is not from a rights owner, but is flagged up by Amazon bots. In this instance, you should remove all stock and close or delete the listing. I <coughs> Ideally, you want to be aware of IP issues so you don't end up receiving a claim. If you use BuyBot Pro for your Amazon deal analysis, the software has built-in IP radar, which uses a traffic light system to let you know if there's any issues. Now, the last thing you need to think about is delivery performance. So delivery performance is the final key metric that Amazon looks at in terms of performance. Amazon is responsible for fulfilled by Amazon shipping metrics, so they won't show in there. There are two delivery targets that sellers must meet. Firstly, you've got the late dispatch or shipping rate where the target is under 4%. The late shipment rate refers to orders which have been completed after the expected shipment date. Pre-fulfillment cancellation rate is the second one where the target is under 2.5%. The cancellation rate is all seller cancelled orders as a percentage of total orders during a given seven day time period. There are two other targets that you might hear spoken about, which is the on-time delivery rate, where the target is over 97%. This is where all shipments delivered by their estimated delivery date as a percentage of total tracked shipments. There's no Amazon penalty for not meeting that target. However, not meeting the on-time deliveries could result in negative customer feedback and reduce your chances of being able to offer faster delivery options. 
The other one you might also hear spoken about is the valid tracking rate. So the valid tracking rate is all shipments with a valid tracking number as a percentage of total shipments during a 30 day time period. Amazon's customers depend on tracking numbers to find out when they can expect their order. If you've ever ordered anything online, you know you'll be excited about it coming and if there's a way to track it, as a customer, generally you'll track it. So that is the other one, the valid tracking rate where the target is over 90%. To sum up account health, as a professional Amazon seller looking to expand your business, you need to keep a close eye on your account health. Customer service is extremely important to Amazon, so make sure you've got a system in place to respond to customers in a timely manner should issues arise. Unless, of course, you're selling FBA, in which case Amazon will handle your customer service. To preempt any product issues, make sure you're content with the product and its packaging before sending it to a customer or to an Amazon fulfillment centre. This can reduce your chances of receiving negative feedback from customers. Finally, before you're listing a product on Amazon, make sure you've done your product research to ensure there are no suspected IP issues, but also check there's no potential IP claim likely from the brand owner itself. Use BuyBot Pro's IP radar to help and make sure you carry out the necessary due diligence required. If you have any issues, feel free to email help at getunsuspended.com, where the team there will be happy to advise you. Just like your own health, if you're not happy with how your Amazon account health is looking, don't panic, it's not too late to make changes. Focus on your weaker areas and look where you've potentially received any complaints. Put a plan in place to make amends and take action where required. Thanks for watching. Speak to you soon.